And so I actually lost my train of thought. Uh, okay, so we went to the bins. My friend had it. Hi friends, and welcome back to my channel. I'm in a little bit of a delirious mode today because I've been sick for like a week and you've probably already seen another video where my voice sounds like this. I apologize for that. We'll try to make it through. And uh, I have a haul to share with you guys today. If you're new here, by the way, my name's Veronica. I'm a part-time reseller. I sell on eBay, Poshmark and Macari. Not in that order. I don't know why I named eBay first. Poshmark is really my main platform, but I primarily sell women's fashion, shoes, sometimes accessories and other items, but mostly clothing and shoes. And every once in a while, I also send items to ThreadUp or to the Rio Rio. And there are actually some items in this haul here that I will send to either one of those places. So let's get started. I did have the opportunity to go to the bins, which was exciting. And I didn't spend too much time there. Uh, again, I'm in New Jersey and this is only my second time going to this particular bins location up here. And so I'm still figuring out how the rotations work and everything. And um, my friend Ellie, Ellie Dell, met me there. What is with my hair? Speaking of Ellie, she's uh, not gonna love this hair. So I unexpectedly had a day off from work, which was very nice and <laughs> love where I'm working. I spontaneously went to the bins and I texted my friend Ali, Ali Dell, who came and met me there. We were supposed to have lunch and so we actually ended up meeting at the bins instead and then have lunch later. And by lunch, I mean cheesecake. Anyway, she actually tossed me some of these items here that I will show you in this haul. And she tossed me more than those, but I put some of them back. I'm still trying to figure out, like I said, this bins location. We actually left right before they were rotating out the bins. They actually make everybody check out before they rotate. So we didn't really want to wait around because we did want to have lunch together and then I had to go pick up my child from school. So time was a little bit limited that day. And I think though that I found a good amount of stuff in a relatively short amount of time. I think I was there for probably an hour and a half, if that. So it was definitely a successful trip and I'm happy I went because the rest of my weekend, uh, plans which included a lot of sourcing that kind of fell flat because things changed and plans had to be adjusted and I wasn't happy about it but here we are at least I have this uh, little bins haul for you guys I don't actually know how many items I picked up but I paid $20 and some change for all of the stuff I'm showing you today plus three more items I picked up a bunch of plushies actually some for my kid um two for my kid that uh, Ellie tossed me I don't think nope they're not um they're not around um one is Chase from Paw Patrol and then one is Rubble also from Paw Patrol and then I picked up a teeny tiny little Mel which is the one of the dogs from Pets or Pets 2 and so those already went to my child I do have two more plushies in here that I may sell might keep not sure yet but let's get started i will show you the items that i'm sending to either thread up or the real real first and then we're gonna check out the stuff that i'm actually listing myself or maybe keeping we'll see okay first item i like finding this brand at the bins because i can send it to the real real and it doesn't go for much on there but they take it it's lafayette 148 and this is a size large Sweater. I'm pretty sure this is wool. I will check in a second or Angora or some very nice soft wool blend. It's just a gray sweater. I didn't find any holes. I will look them over, of course. Um, again, oh yeah, it's 100% merino wool. So, and it does feel like that. It's very, very nice. And it has a little bit of an accent here at the neckline. Otherwise, very plain. But if I find Lafayette 148 at the bins, I will pick it up and send it to the real real and let them deal with it. And if I make five, six bucks off of it, that's fine because I cannot move that brand by myself for more than $20, $30. So I just don't want to list it. Um, this is something that Ellie tossed to me and it's Tucker and Tate. And I believe this is sold at Nordstrom. She is the Nordstrom expert. It's a kid's brand. I hope you can see that. I know sometimes my ring light is way too bright. Tucker and Tate, this is a little cardigan. And this is gonna go probably to thread up. I don't think I will list this. Well, I don't think the real real would take it, but yeah. Thread up, 
probably will. Let's hope so. This I'm almost tempted to list myself. I think, yeah, Ali tossed me this too. It's Chico's size zero, which I don't really like to pick up Chico's, but this is really nice and it's practically new, I'm gonna say. It's like a mock neck. Why is this not happening here? Okay, it's like a mock neck sweater but it feels almost like a blazer jacket material and it has this accent zipper over here so chico size zero i believe is a medium it's probably where i would put this yeah probably a medium so very cute that is going to thread up and i think with thread up most likely i will just collect um enough items to send i just sent them a box of a whole bunch of rejects that i got from goodwill blue box from thread up and i'm just sending them right back uh that one i'm getting in a thread gift card this i'm not sure if i want an actual payout or if i'm going to go for a gift card again but when the time comes to pack this box i will let you guys know um, this one I picked up because it's, again, a good thread up item, I think. It's very basic, but it's Zara size large, and it's just like a like a thermal Henley top. I could list this, but honestly, it's very plain, and I don't really do that well with Zara. So I'm going to send it to thread up, and if I get three, four bucks for it, that's fine. Um, and then this is a blazer that Ellie also tossed to me. She was my, uh, my thread up sourcing buddy. It's Banana Republic not factory size eight little blazer and i feel like this is a piece that the red up will like and especially if i'm going for the gift card i think they're going to price it at a decent amount and i would actually get a decent payout now with the uh, gift cards with the Red Up partner program i made a few videos about that i can link them up here um i also have a whole thread up playlist so if you want to check that out you can and i talk a little bit about how it works and how i've been utilizing it so Primarily, I will go for the Athleta gift cards because you can use them at Athleta, Banana Republic, Gap, and Old Navy. And usually I'll just source loungewear for myself and some clothing for my kid at Gap and Old Navy with those Athleta gift cards. So that's been pretty decent. I also sold a bunch of them on raise.com, which is a website where you can sell gift cards and purchase gift cards for a little bit less than their face value. And of course, the website takes a cut if you're selling on there, but I got that tip from my friend Chloe, Coverly Chaos. I was familiar with the website, but more so as a buyer and less than a seller. And the Athleta gift cards I put on there, they all sold and I sold them for about 90% of what they were worth and then raise takes a cut but I still made a good chunk of money and that was all thread up items that I sent in when I cleared up my closet last year can link that video above here too so anyway it's been working out well for me this is Talbot's outlet just a little brown kind of like a bolero jacket almost and it's short sleeved brown new tags extra large retails for 40 bucks so I don't know, that's going to thread up as well. And those are all the items I'm sending to thread up. And I need to speed this up because my SD card is getting full. Okay, depending on which thumbnail I decided to go with, <laughs> thumbnail picture, you may have already seen these. These are just little Paw Patrol booties. I found one in a bin, put it back because I couldn't find the other, and then found the other much later and went back to that bin and grabbed it. So these are little toddler Paw Patrol rain slash snow boots they're a toddler size eight my child uh, has not been in size eight for years now so unfortunately these will not go to him neither will these these are a uh, kombu which i don't know if this is a great brand or not i see it a lot but because they're in good condition and they're from the bins i picked them up they're a toddler size 12 so for your four to five year olds i would say maybe even six year olds my kid has big feet so he cannot fit in the wall no, you can't. Anyway, um, they're kind of like duck boots. Again, Kombu. Kombu is the brand. I think they can do okay. Honestly, for these toddler shoes, I feel like brand almost doesn't matter as much. People will buy them because kids' shoes are so gosh darn expensive and they grow out of them all the time. So if they can get them for a little bit cheaper and I can make a little bit of money on them, sign me up. Um, they do weigh the shoes separately at this location, I believe. But I forgot how much I paid for the shoes versus the rest of the stuff. So... Again, 20 bucks all in all. I will do a count after I'm done filming and then insert what my average cost of goods is somewhere over here. Pretty sure I got more than 20 items though. Okay, this one was probably the best find and I was so excited. I picked this up, looked at the label and I'm like, 
I think that's the good one. I know there's one that's not good, but then there's one that's good. And I showed it to Allie and she's like, uh, yes, that's the good one. So it's like this crochet lace little shirt top with the floral pattern in a dark navy blue and then a royale blue. And it is Sandro Paris. And she is expensive. This is a size one. Don't know what that means. I'm gonna guess a size medium, maybe large. I don't know, we'll find out. But I actually found this listed on ThreadUp, which is interesting. And ThreadUp even has it listed for 50 bucks plus or more than that. So good to know, good to know. Okay, this item might be for my child, most likely it's uh, Lands and size six snow bibs. And the interesting thing, and I didn't see that until um, I washed them, they actually grow with your child. Like there is there is a seam somewhere in here that you can let out. And then I guess this portion gets longer. I don't know. It's quite fascinating. Something, something extends or maybe they're already extended. That could be as well, because honestly, I feel like they look way bigger than a size six. But in any case, these are going to come in handy for my own kiddo. And if they are and if they don't, I will sell them. Again, kids items, good quality, good brand, snow gear, in my experience, always sells. And this next item is also something that Ali tossed to me and I've heard about the brand, but I've never found it or sold it. So I can't tell you what the comms are, but this is Field and Stream and it's like a flannel plaid shirt. These are all washed, but I haven't steamed them yet. I haven't buttoned them up. So just a good staple piece here. Um, this next item I think I'm going to keep for myself because it's cute. I'm not super obsessed with the brand or anything. Oh, it has some stains too. So yeah, definitely keeping it for myself. It's actually a bag, um, but this could be a good thrifting bag. I'm just trying to put it back together. It's reversible. So one side is this mint color. And then the other side is this chevron zigzag pattern. And this is 31 which is like an MLM, I believe. I actually have something listed by this brand that I got in a fun box, but yeah, this I think is gonna be mine. Then I picked up this Victoria's Secret pink, uh, collegiate, whatever, Philadelphia something. I know this is some, some Philadelphia team, right? Um, little top. I live very close to Philadelphia now, but forgive me, I don't know all the sports teams because I don't care about sports ball, as Kayla would say, but it has pink on the back and it's just a Razorback tank top, very lightweight. Normally would not pick this up, but again, the bins, and it's a size large, which is also nice. So it's this red, white, and blue, so it's a little bit patriotic for 4th of July. That might do well around that time. Probably gonna sell on Macari. Um, I do find a lot of J. Jill at these uh, at this bins location. The first time I went, I found a bunch of J. Jill, and this time as well, and people don't seem to pick it up. Uh, this is a really, really nice, soft, pure Jill sweater. I hope you can see it. I recently filmed a video where you could not see my J. Jill label, so um, I can put a screenshot in here as well. So Pure Jill is usually 100% linen or some other good fabric. There's Love Linen, that's usually linen. Okay, no, this one is not. This one is cotton, nylon, wool, and cashmere. And it feels super nice. It does have some pilling that I need to get rid of. And it's kind of asymmetrical and has a slip, split hem over there on one side. Very nice, um, kind of like a marled uh, texture, not texture, a marled pattern almost. Um, very nice, I like it. And if this doesn't sell, I'll probably keep it for myself. Another extra large Pure Jill kimono, and this is 100% linen, and it's like this tie-dye knit sweater. It's very boxy, but anyway, J. Jill does well for me. A lot of people sleep on J. Jill. If it's a larger size and it's cute, I will pick it up. Another J. Jill. <laughs> I don't know if this is a newer label or not, but uh, it's definitely in great condition. It's a size small and it's not really my thing, but Ali convinced me that I should pick it up and take it. It's uh, all linen, 100% linen and has a little floral pattern, just like a little career blouse. So that's probably going to sell on eBay for like, I don't know, 25 bucks, maybe 20 bucks. This is a kit item. Let me see. My battery is about to... Oh, not my battery. My SD card is about to die, and I just hope that I will not lose this footage. Um, a size large Fortnite t-shirt with a llama. I don't know anything about Fortnite, but I hear it does sell, so we'll see. 
Maybe I'll bundle it with something. I cannot decide. I don't know yet. Speaking of llamas, I found Llama Llama Red Pajama and my kid was obsessed with these books when he was little. Not so much anymore, but it's new attacks. It's a Cold Cares plush and they just go for like five bucks. But you know, I probably have sense into this. So uh, he's in excellent condition. I tossed him in the dryer. I sprayed him down. And yeah, new attacks, like I said. And he's so cute. I would kind of like to keep him, honestly. I love Llama Llama. We'll see. Uh, I might run this one by my child first. Okay, user brand I usually don't pick up, but this item looked kind of interesting and a little more substantial than what they usually put out. It's actually Lula Row, which I do pick up if it's new tags from the bins um, because it does sell on like Macari. But it's a cropped jacket, like a moto jacket with this uh, zipper that's off center. And then it does have buttons here at the cuff. I saw it listed anywhere between 60 and $16, so I don't know. This is a size small, so it's probably not gonna go for more than 20, but if I can get 20 for it, I'll take it. Um, Ellie found this one. It's just like an infinity scarf, but it's Halston. And it's just acrylic, but it is very soft. I think it's navy blue. Little infinity scarf by Halston, so we'll see how that does. If it doesn't do well, I can send it to thread up. This one is interesting. Uh, it's Athleta, which is one of my favorite bread and butter brands. And it's an extra, extra small, which is not super exciting, but I took her home anyways. But it's 100% silk, washable silk. She doesn't look happy right now because I need to steam her, but I did wash her. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like window pane pattern, 100% silk. Who knew that Athleta made silk pieces? I did not. Okay, what are you? I think I got more J. Jill. Are, are you bored yet with the J. Jill? Yep. The J. Jill Wherever collection, which is like they're kind of like Chico's Travelers. For some reason this is very heavy, but I don't think there's anything in the pockets. Anyway, J. Jill Wherever collection. It is a extra large, I think. Yeah, extra large charcoal gray little cardigan. This is not gonna look like anything in photographs, but honestly, these pieces always sell for me. Super soft and if push comes to shove, I can always use another cardigan. And I'm just stacking everything on my lap today. I don't know why I'm doing this, but here we are. Okay, one of the first pieces I found, and I still get excited when I find this brand, even though it does not do well for me, um, but it's a free people, or rather intimately free people. Size small, but it's super oversized. Uh, little ribbed cardigan jacket with buttons. I'll try to find a stock photo because it doesn't look like much here in the frame. But anyway, again, so oversized. I can probably wear this if it doesn't sell, but Free People is kind of on my naughty list. But at the bins, you know. Uh, another store that's on my naughty list and related to Free People is Anthropology. And I found this, actually I did not. Uh, Ali found this Akemi and Kin. I hope you can see that. Excuse the nails. Uh, little sweater, very lightweight, navy blue. Very unassuming, but cute. Has a split hem as well. Kind of has like a shark bite hem, I think. I have to see what it looks like on the mannequin. Um, I will say at these bins, most items are really like dingy and dirty um, when you pull them out. And I'm not used to that from my bins back in Virginia. Everything was actually pretty clean for the most part, which is surprising. But again, it's interesting to see what different bins are like. So even if you don't want to wash things that you're sourcing with these bins, you have to because they have stains and there's like dust and dirt and fuzz all over. So you kind of want to wash everything. Uh, at least I do. Uh, I have another free people. This is a size medium. And I thought it was poof at first, but it's actually free people boxy little bluish gray sweater it looks more tan on camera so maybe i'm just tripping but again just a staple piece it's not going to give me much but this is actually i believe a linen blend i looked in at the care tag when i washed this yeah linen 49 percent linen nylon cotton viscose and modal so okay if the angle changed ever so slightly it's because my sd card was full but anyway I was showing you guys this uh, Free People sweater. Again, it's a linen blend, which is very exciting. And yeah, it's like this grayish blue, maybe even tan color. Very plain, very simple, but I don't know, 20 bucks maybe for that. Okay, we're almost done. Um, this one is for the nerds. It's a Star Wars hoodie 
I don't even know what it says on there, but you can see it. Um, it is licensed, so that's good. And it does have a care tag, but it came out as I was washing it um, or came off. And I actually still have it. So it's a size medium, Star Wars hoodie. It might be a youth medium, honestly, or like a junior's. I don't know. I'll look it up to see if anything comes up for this particular design. But I usually do pick up Star Wars and Star Wars, Star Wars and Harry Potter stuff and such because, you know, there are buyers for that. Okay, we're well, almost done. I do have more J. Jill. I, this is a total J. Jill haul. Anyway, J. Jill, size medium. Sweater with like this layered look down here. And the shirt portion is actually silk. At least I'm assuming that's the silk part. <sighs> God damn it. I looked at the material and I noticed it's cotton polyester and then silk. Oh, the woven portion is actually rayon. Okay, so the sweater itself has some silk in it. So there's that. Light blue, well, dusty blue um, sweater. This one Ellie also tossed to me because she knows me. It's Fashion Nova. <laughs> it's not super exciting. It's just, and I need to steam this because it's very wrinkly, but it's just like a very soft ribbed um, crop top with long sleeves. I actually just listed a very similar Fashion Nova top that um, is almost the same, just with short sleeves, that I got in, I want to say a Goodwill box or a Thread Up box. One of those. Anyway, um, Fashion Nova, it doesn't sell for much. If I can get it for cheap from the bins, I will pick it up because I can always find a stock photo. It always gets likes and interest and it makes me usually between eight and ten bucks um, of profit. So why not? Okay, last item. It's another plush, which, who is she? Uh, but it's a Build-A-Bear, and it doesn't really have, I thought Build-A-Bear always had like things either on the paws or on the ears, but this one does not, so I don't know. I haven't looked this up yet, but it's a Build-A-Bear. I don't know. I don't know if this is one that somebody made themselves or that just is sold as is. I honestly, I've never been to a Build-A-Bear. I'm a horrible mother. I don't know how it works, but it does have, oh, it does have this little tag over here. So there's that with the heart. So it is a puppy, I believe. <laughs> I'm not great with animals, but this looks like a dog to me. Um, I did run this one through the dryer. I sprayed it with fabric sanitizer and then ran it through the dryer. So I have a thing with plush that I just feel like it's impossible to get it like sanitized properly, but I'm getting over that. Anyway, um, we'll see how he does, who he is, how much he goes for. I will put some comms over here if I can find him. And if he doesn't go for much, guess what? He's going to end up in my kid's room. And that's that. He's very soft. I do like him. Anyway, um, his tongue is out too. So I feel like he's one of those little broken dogs that needs love too. So anyway, we got him. Um, yeah, like I said, I haven't counted, but I'm fairly certain I picked up more than 20 items. So I'm fairly confident in saying that I spent less than a dollar per item on all of the stuff that I have here. The Sandro Paris piece is certainly my favorite in terms of potential return on my investment. I am excited for the toddler boots because they always sell for me. I love selling kids shoes. And the plush was just an added bonus for my own kiddo and maybe even for me. I love Llama Llama. Ali does too. So we were both like, oh, so cute. Anyway, um, let me know below what your favorite piece was. Also, let me know if you're interested in anything. If you're a J. Jill lover, and especially if you're wearing a size extra large, I have plenty of pieces for you to <laughs> check out in my stores and closet. But anyway, if you're interested in anything, just let me know. You can reach me on Instagram. You can leave me a comment down below. My email address is also always down below in my description. And thank you so much for being here, spending some time on my channel, hopefully for hitting the like button and hopefully also for being subscribed to my channel. If you're not yet subscribed, please do so down below as well. All right, friends, I'm going to rest my voice now and uh, get some shipping done, and I will see you very, very soon with another video. Cheese.